Willkommen, bienvenue, and welcome. I am just another Pokey Dad, and if you know where I stole my intro from, you are my kind of geek, and I say geek lovingly. Today we are going to do a deck profile on a new uh, deck build that I'm working on uh, that is going to be something that's out there from the new Celestial Storm set. That's Stack Attack of GX, so I'm building a deck based around that. Um, there are a couple of builds going on. I think this is uh, going to be similar to maybe something. Uh, this is not the Naganadal deck. Uh, Naganadal, I don't even know how to say it. Nag Naganadal GX. This is not that build. Um, but uh, Stack Attacka is coming in Celestial Storm. It's a great new card. I think it's going to see a lot of play. It's a GX. These are obviously proxy, uh, Japanese proxies, so um, I, I'm just going to make up anything I want. No, actually, uh, I, I don't know the names of everything, but the uh, ability, um, Stack Attack, uh, your Ultra Beasts take 10 less damage um, for each Stack Attack you have in play. So for one Stack Attack, that's 10 less damage. That's eh, not bad, but get three or four out, and that's 30, 40 less damage, that's something to be reckoned with. So um, its attack isn't great. Two metal and a, and a colorless for 120 damage. It is what it is. Um, the GX attack is 50 times the amount of prizes I believe your opponent has taken. So, um, but I may be wrong about that. It might be how many you've taken. So I, I apologize. It's not something you're going to concern yourself terribly in this deck, um, but uh, that is um, there. So we are running a metal deck, so you will be using the metal energy, but we are going to do uh, in this deck four stack attackers. And ideally, you want to try and get three of them at the very least out. Uh, so you're taking away 30 damage. The tough thing is, because it's bench space, taking up four means you only have room for one other thing on your bench and one active. So it means you're always a little behind if you're doing that. But if you're able to, then, you know, taking 40 less damage in a lot of games is the price of winning or losing. So four stack attacka. And then our Ultra Beasts that will use that ability we're going to run two of the mini Duskmane Necrozmas. Uh, it's got 130, which is good because it keeps in, uh, it out of Zorok GX uh, one-shot range, mostly. Uh, you know, the Kukuya or whatever, but but uh, in general, you, you're going to get a two-shot out of Zorok or uh, Golisopod or whatever. Um for one energy, you get Dusk Shot, which is the main attack you'll use on this uh, guy, probably. It does 60 damage to one of your opponent's GX or EX Pokemon. It's not affected by weakness or resistance. So you can just uh, hit their bench. You can hit their active. Uh, for 60 damage for one energy, it's pretty good. Um, Rusty Claws is a, is a late game attack that is a win or lose kind of thing. So it, if your opponent has one prize card remaining, it does 200 damage. Otherwise it's a 100 damage attack. Um, but, uh, you could be doing 200 damage with, with this one prize attacker, which is nice. So if it's there, if you need it, it's decent. And the thing is 130 with three of those out becomes 160, a little bit harder to hit, a little bit harder. Okay, so we've got two of those. And then we're running two of the GX Necrozmas because uh, Meteor Tempest is just brutal. Uh, I mean, yes, it costs you four energy and you discard three of them, but 220. You're knocking anything out, almost, almost anything out. And then Sun's Eclipse GX 250 for three metal energy. Um, you can only use it if you have more prize cards than your opponent. But, I mean, 250 damage. Huge. And the problem with the Necrozma GX has always been 190. Uh, that's just too easy to, to one-shot. But now, with Stack Attacker, 
I mean, 193, you know, becomes 200, becomes 210, 220, 230. I mean, so there's some rhythm there. You know, you get that going. We're going to run one copy of Cartana GX, also an Ultra Beast. So again, uh, is able to be protected with Stack Attacker. Slice Off is a nice ability. When you play it from your hand to your bench, you can discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. So that's nice. Um, otherwise, yeah, you can use Gale Blade. You get to shuffle it back into your deck if you want. Uh, it only does 70 damage. It's not that great. Blade GX is a nice GX as well. You take a prize. That simple. Just take a prize. So, you know, that's kind of nice. If you're if you're needing um, to either win the game with that, or you can uh, change the rhythm of the game, that's that's really a decent decent uh, attack or GX move for this deck. Um, we're gonna run one copy of Registeel. Turbo Arms, nice for one energy hit for thirty, but then you get to um, put a basic energy from your discard back to your bench. That's the basic attack on that. Again, it's a 130, which is a good number. Um, Iron Hand, you're going to do 90 damage. Not worth trying to power him up for that. Not at all. So you're really doing it for the first attack. Then we've got uh, Sogaleo Prism Star, who, again, is 160, which is great. He's a Prism Star, so... You only get one of them, and once he's gone, he's going to your Lost Zone, where you'll never get him back. But Radiant Star is a great attack. Uh, for each opponent of your opponent's Pokemon in play, attach a Metal Energy from your discard to any of your Pokemon in any way you like. So uh, once things are set up, you get him out, you knock a bunch of energy back onto Dustmane Necrozma, or however you need. Um, Corona Impact is a good attack. Uh, it's a 160, but it costs four metal energy. So, you know, you're, you're going to be hard pressed to really get that one off. But if you do, it's a decent attack. You just can't attack next turn. And then in this deck, we are running, uh, two type nulls. Why? Uh, well, obviously because we want to run one Sil Valley, but why? Why Sil Valley? Well, uh, mainly for his ability to allow your basic Pokemon in play to have a free retreat because we're losing, uh, float stones. This is your float stone, but also because, uh, of the new, Oh, what's his name? Um, grass Pokemon who's going to, uh, prevent all damage from ultra beasts. You need something in here. That's not an ultra beast. Uh, just so you, can attack should you come up against a random deck. Uh, and I don't think that's going to be random. I think he's going to see play. Uh, I forget which one. Tell me down below. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so that's why it's there. So you have a couple things that can do a little bit of damage. Also, you know, you can armor press or slash and claw if you needed to, to take care of uh, Hoopas or, you know, any of that nonsense. I mean, you're going to have Solgaleo, you're going to have Registeel, but one other thing just to add to your arsenal. Uh, but mainly it's there for the free retreat on your basics because you've got some tanky, tanky basics with three retreat costs. So uh, two retreat cost, three retreat cost, you know, three retreat cost, three retreat cost. That's difficult. So that's why So Valley's in there. Um, we're going to run two copies of Tapalele for the Wonder Tag ability. All right, we're going to get into our supporters. We're running one copy of Pokemon Fan Club. Search your deck for two basic Pokemon, put them into your hand, shuffle your deck. This is not taking the place of Bridget, but it is. Um, but I mean, you only get two. But the nice thing is they go to your hand instead of your bench, so you can use it to grab a Tapalele if needed. So 
Uh, it's good early game. It's good late game. Um, but it is only basics. We'll run one copy of that. We are running four copies of Cynthia. Um, Cynthia is a, you know, great draw supporter. And we are losing a lot of draw support after rotation. So uh, we're running two copies of Lily. That's your first turn draw supporter if you can. We are running one copy of Tate and Liza. This is a select one or the other. And this is coming out of Celestial Storm as well. I like this card. Shuffle your hand into your uh, deck. Draw five cards. That's a Shauna. Or... Uh, switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. So there's a great, you know, it's a, it's a switch and it could be great if you need it, you know, but you've got a draw support or a switch in one. So uh, in a tanky deck like this, I like that option. We're going to run one copy of Copycat. Um, just uh, shuffle your deck into your, or shuffle your hand into your deck, draw till you have the same amount of cards in your hand as your opponent. Um, then we are running four copies of Guzma, because once again, this is a, a deck where you only want to be hitting with what you want, you don't want, and you need to be uh, picking and choosing your, your battles on it. So uh, we're going to run two copies of Acerola. This will help get things out of the active if needed, um, but it also just help... Uh, Keep deny prizes uh, if people are damaging your stack attackers. Uh, we are running three copies of Ultra Space, uh, the the stadium that'll allow you to search your deck for an Ultra Beast card, reveal it, and put it in your hand. Um, so that's a great one. One copy of Mount Coronet uh, to get some energy back. Another way. That's the other thing about um, Sil Valley. Its attack does one twenty, which is decent, but you get to attach an energy from your discard to uh, one of your bench Pokemon, so that helps as well. And Rebel GX actually is a good GX move, 50 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So it's got many uses in this deck. Um, we're running three copies of Ultra Ball, two copies of Nest Ball, three Metal Frying Pans. Metal Frying Pan attached to a... a metal Pokemon, uh, they take 30 less damage and they have no weakness. So stack attacker plus metal frying pan is 40 less damage. Two is 50. Three is 60. Four is 70 less damage with that. So uh, that's not insignificant. That's a good little combo. We're running three B strings. I'm not 100% sure I want to run three. I might take two. Um, but when you need to hit it, you need to hit it. Because you only get, you know, a turn, maybe two, where you're going to be able to use these. So you need to, uh, but again, two basic energy and attach them to your Ultra Beasts. So power up the Duskmane Necrozma in one turn. That's the hope. I'm running two Choice Bands. This is one I'm not sold on. It helps a lot with the, the baby um, Duskmane. When you're doing 60, if they're in the active that you're doing, then you're doing 90 for one one uh, energy. But uh, there are a couple things I I'll talk about after I'm done, but that's what I'm doing right now, and I'm not 100% sold on it. We've got one switch, which is another card. I'm not 100% sold, but I just feel like, because uh, I do have four Guzma, I do have uh, Tate and Liza, I do have Silvalli, so uh, I'm not sold. There's other things that I might swap that for, but right now I'm running it just because getting stuck in your active is a concern of this deck. Uh, and then this one is a rescue stretcher for your energy. Put one in your basic in your hand or shuffle three basic into your deck. Um, new card energy uh, recycle system, I believe it's called. And um, so in this deck where you're discarding energy, this is a good way to get it back. And then speaking of energy, we are running 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 metal energy and 1 beast energy. Again, adds uh, when to an ultra beast, uh, gives you any type of energy. So it's a metal in this deck. 
uh, and they do 30 more damage. So that's a nice, you know, you could attach that, a choice band, and suddenly f for that single energy, you're doing um, 90, 120 with a choice band attached if, if the GX is in there active. So that's not, again, not insignificant. Um, I prefer a metal frying pan on him. So that's still 120 with the metal, but then you're taking uh, whatever, however many uh, stack attackers you have uh, and the metal frying pan less damage. I mean, if you had four stack attackers and a metal frying pan, that's 70, effectively putting this at 200 damage before a knockout. But in terms of that, that's 200 for a one-shot knockout because it's not as if it raises the the uh, the health up. It reduces the damage done, which is a different effect than, than raising the health up because you're not going to just pile 200 damage on. It means if, they're, if they want to knock you out in one shot, they have to do 200 damage. But if they are only doing 120, then they're actually only doing 50. So it's a little bit different. Um, so it's math. I was told there would be no math. Live with it. Math is life. Okay, so what I was going to say was the one thing I'm thinking about in the terms of there are a few cards that I'm iffy on, and what I would trade them out for would be memories. I would throw in a psychic memory and a fighting memory. Um if I were going to swap those two cards out, that's what I would put in for Sylv Valley, because then you have the option of hitting for weakness on a couple of uh, important deck types. So that's what I would do if I were going to swap out the Switch and maybe one Choice Band or one B-String. I don't know. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts. Again, this is just a preliminary version of this deck. I'm going to going to try maybe run some tests with it and see how it goes. We'll, we'll set up and play some games and we'll, we'll put them on, but I would love to hear your thoughts. And, uh, we're going to be giving away from a previous, um, video. Uh, if you liked, subscribed to that video, then we were giving away some code cards and I'm going to make an offer now. If you like and subscribe to the uh, on this video, then uh, what am I going to give away? What do I got close at hand that I can give to someone? Um, just for liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. Sorry, and leaving a comment. Uh, I'm going to give away, you know what? I'm going to give away a mat, a play mat. I have got a few of them. And so I'm going to give away this Ultra Beast play mat to uh, someone. Just like, subscribe, and I'll send you a playmat if you're the lucky winner. Um, have never used it, have never even opened it. So thank you very much for watching. I would love to hear your feedback. And stick around. We're going to do uh, some playtesting later and uh, lots more exciting things coming up. Thanks again for watching. I am just another Pokey Dad. And remember, please be happy, be safe, and be kind.